session. All right, all right, all right, y'all. This is Home Room with Smooth. Uh, I got with me my guy Prime Kai's. This is episode number 140. How you doing today, man? I'm doing all right. Happy to be here with you. Yeah, it's good having you. It's good having you. You know what I'm saying? This is this is different. This is different. Normally, normally you're the host. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Yeah. Um, so basically, um, how you doing today, man? I'm all right, yeah. Just a regular day, yeah, regular grind, as always. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Today was today was one for me. Definitely mm. one for the books. Mm. Um but with that said, with that said, um, how how do you how do you, so you're you're a streamer, right? You're a streamer. You're a game. You're a gaming streamer. You're also a debater. Like you stream debates as well and open panels. So how do you get started on that? Uh, that was <laughs> that was by accident. <laughs> um, so yeah, I um. Uh, you know, a pandemic happened and I wasn't employed. Um, and, uh, you know, I had been watching like Twitch streams for uh, a while uh, previously, mm-hmm. you know, um, and I spent a lot of time doing that. Um, and when the pandemic hit in, t- in 2020, um, like I, I knew that Twitch was starting to blow up. Um, more people, you know, showing up there because they just had more time with their hands. And, you know, I had been considering doing it. Um, I'm like, okay, well, I'll just jump in now. I'll, I'll give it a try. Um, so, you know, I've got a camera, got a mic, and, uh, you know, I just started up. But, like, um, when I did, I just was going to, you know, talk about the, you know, the news, give my opinion on things, and, you know, go from there. That's it. I uh, Which is uh, exactly what my, uh, most of my first streams were. Um, but um, I started... Like getting audience at first, you know, it was to nobody. I didn't tell anyone, like none of my family members watching, I didn't tell anyone I was doing it, I just did it. Um, and you know, it got some people in Twitch chat who would uh, show up and, uh, you know, start interacting with me. You know, I had a few regulars, mm-hmm. and then we had one guy in particular, a guy who was actually in the military, and he would uh, stop by uh regularly and he was like conservative and he wanted to argue with me so he would argue me in twitch chat and i would (laughs) (laughs) and we would go at it for a bit then love my opinions uh Mm -hmm. but then he told me hey like create a discord uh so that we can talk right and i was planning on doing that eventually but i'm like i gotta have a bigger community like no one's showing up right now so like what was the point um but he's like yeah no it's like create one so i did um and it was just really for uh, him and I to have a conversation. So uh, 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 we started doing that. Um, and then also my schedule, because I, I had re- originally started streaming in the afternoon. My schedule kept getting progressively like later, like starting later in the day. Um, mm-hmm. For two reasons. One, because I've, I have trouble doing things in the afternoon. Um, <laughs> I'm more awake at night, honestly. I'm a night owl. Um, but also because it, hit, it, it fit his schedule better uh, because he was... Um, he worked at night. Uh, so like he would like fuck off from his work and just hang out with me, <laughs> honestly. Um, so yeah, uh, it was uh, later uh, at night and then uh, I would start, I would, you know, talk about something. Then he would like to jump on and we would argue about it for hours. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of uh, get back and forth. And then, um, you know, still more people started to show up. Um, and then like a few others wanted to join in. I'm like, okay, great. So then it was just like a, a you know a small group of people talking, but still you know, pretty much all the same, just us arguing with each other and our ideas. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then more people would join, and then I had to like regulate. <laughs> <what happened>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and people want to do that every night, so that's what I did. <laughs> so it was completely by accident. I did not design it. Wow. That's that's crazy. That's crazy. So, man, that's crazy. So, did you? So, when you started out, like, what were your conversations? What were your arguments mostly about? Like, were they were they just like just regular issues of the day, or where it's like were they hyper? Were they focused? Like, what I mean by that is like, was it more of a just a conversation where people are just chatting and then they're just arguing progressively about more and more stuff, or was it like focused? 
Uh, well, I think well, it would usually depend on whatever I you know start off with, like whatever like news story I started off with, um, and that's where we would start. But like you know, it was, it's just the way things are now. Honestly, it's kind of free wielding. I'm um, in our open panels, um, so where anyone can join in. Uh, so you know, we can start something, and then we can just go somewhere else. Right? So wherever uh, people want to take it, I ain't have a problem. You know, it didn't make a difference to me. So yeah. Okay. 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 That's awesome. So then you started also game. Were you always gaming, or were you just always talking? Like when uh, you were adding games into it. Oh, just actually a few months ago, um, I started gaming on YouTube. Uh, I'm like a gaming streamer, but no one comes to my gaming streams. <laughs> That's fine. Um, but I'm having a lot of fun. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, um, it was before I had done any gaming at all. Um, so yeah. But I'm I'm, in, I'm playing Elden Ring now, and I'm a big fan. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun. Um, and, and Elden Ring, though, you know, like fun is like in masochistic terms, you know, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> totally, totally <masochistic. laughs> like how did you die today? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so it is, you know, frustration, 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 right? Then you overcome a challenge, elation, yeah. back to frustration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at this place where I keep getting mauled by this bear and it got, and it chased me into a whale. And so I just sat down at the bottom of the well and I just gave up. And I was like, you know what? I'm not here tonight. <laughs> that sounds so lonely. <laughs> is, this me? is this me, the bottom of the, bit, the well? I don't even see enemies around. Like, there's not even enemies. Like, I'm just what? sitting at the graves. And I was just spinning the camera around. I said, yeah, so how much you want to bet I go back upstairs and this bear mauls me again? <laughs> what? A, what? What's the uh, area? Um... The one, uh, the one with the academy in the lake, it's to oh. the right. So right where her, where you would go to turn on her greater rune. Like uh -huh. I went up that that library, right? Yeah. Fighting yeah. that guy with the bow that keeps warping. That was annoying. And yeah. so I left out of there because I couldn't figure out how to get past the rats on the mm. on the upper thing. And I was like, well, I'm not gonna lose all my runes. So mm. I was walking across and I said, oh, I said there's a thing with a lake for the lake, a elevator down. I'm like, uh -huh. I don't, I'm not, I don't care about that. I'm wanting to see what's behind there. Well, I walked behind it, and there's a bear scratching a tree, and there's another bear sleeping. And normally, I can take the bears. I mm -hmm. went and hit it, and its health didn't go away like it was supposed to. So I said, <laughs> oh, this bear is different. <laughs> <laughs> and so proceed, proceeded my ass whooping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he killed, he killed me one of the times, and the other time, um, I managed to get away right before he killed me. Like okay. I was just running. You can see I had like this myself. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh you uh, that happens in Elden Ring, right? You uh start testing something, right? Like uh mm -hmm. <laughs> you go to a new area, like I can handle this. Oh god, I can't no, no, this is not no, no. I said this cannot be the same bear. <laughs> like, oh man, this can't be the same bear. Uh I maybe but, um, it's yeah, all right. Well, go ahead. Oh no 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 no! You you go you go ahead with what you were gonna say. Oh no, it's just that like uh, you know there there might be a different type like yeah, um because there's a lesser rune bear, but then there's other other um, I think there's another type of bear as well, um but like it's rare, I could be wrong with that. But anyway, yeah, um but you know uh oh I was in this one place where there was these like you know the random zombie type guys who were wandering around. Oh yeah. Um and uh, I hit one and then it turned into a. A bear. Um, what? Yeah. Wait, what? Is, yeah. Uh, you don't know that. So, um, scattered around the uh, the place, right? Um, in in random areas, there is these like regular like enemies, like like the like the shambling enemies, and mm -hmm. uh, like usually you just clear them out, but a few of them turn into other things. Um, so this is the second oh. one actually. It turns. There's one in Lindgrave too that turns into a bear as well. Um, and then this one is uh, near the end, near the end of the game, mm. um, uh, and I, it was a surprise to me. <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit, not again!" Uh, but you get a special reward when you kill him, though. Okay, okay, I gotta go find the one in Limgrave because I did not find that. I, I'm yeah. now I'm gonna go hunting. Like I already killed the dragon, though. Like that was my favorite thing to do. Like on that lake. Like I'm into R two into that. Um, I'm 
hour wise, like maybe like 25, okay, 25, 30. Yeah. But there's this dude that joined me and he just dropped a bunch of runes and left. And I was like, <sighs> what is this? He's like, oh, you're going to get a kick out of this. You can see it in the Twitch chat. Like, cause he was only chatting with me on Twitch and he was like, you're going to, you're going to laugh so hard. And I was like, what? I'm like, why are you dropping all this stuff? He said, start picking it up. 99, 99, 99. So now my character's level like 205. What? Yeah, my character's level 205. But I still get whooped because my equipment doesn't match my level. Yeah. yeah. Um, you get you you end up um, getting more out of um, like upping your equipment rather than upping your yeah. level. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, like when I upgrade my equipment, I feel great. Mm. But right now, I'm just trying. I'm going katana hunting right now. Uh, I'm okay, you're going to the Felucci katana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm okay. gonna all the katanas. Felucci katana, Moonvale. Yeah, it's um. Uh, I think you're gonna have a good time. I'm doing a solo run, uh, so yeah, that's mm -hmm. how I'm rolling now. Um, but I, I I do help people come into my YouTube chat. I'll help them out. I'll jump mm -hmm. into uh, their games and help them beat bosses if they want me to do that. Yeah. That's dope, man. Um, so next next question is so when did you realize like Twitch was gonna like Twitch was really taking off for you? Like when did you realize like, oh, this is a this is a thing, you know, it's no longer a hobby, this is like a thing. Well, I, I guess I wanted to make it into a thing, like that was my goal was to make it into a thing. Um, but uh yeah, like it, it, it took a few months, but uh it was I mean, I started in May in 2020, um, and uh, I got partnered in like four and a half months, was it? Or was it shorter than that? Uh, now I can't remember. Um, but I got, well, I applied for partnership, I think, was in August, I want to say. And then I got it in September. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, which was like the fastest um, of like someone who had started with zero right some people start with like a whole bunch because they're coming with like their social media but i started mm -hmm. zero from there got partnered so yeah it seemed pretty solid then yeah yeah that's crazy man that's crazy um so with so with that um what what is some what is some uh with that just that portion what's some advice you'd give young creators that are like trying to make it uh get a schedule and stick to it I think that's the hardest part for most people really is to stick to a schedule. Like you want people to uh, know when you're around, you want uh, things to be regular. Like I have a calendar with like all my things that I'm up to. Um, but yeah, like stick to it. Like you want, um, like treat it like TV was at least, you know, back in the day. Right. Mm -hmm. Like when you couldn't record things. right? Like right. So you had to be there. Right. And you want, you want people to spend their afternoons uh, with you or wherever, whenever you're uh, streaming, right? Um, spend it with you um, and be ex uh, and expect that, right? So that's if you're streaming. Uh, if you're doing like YouTube, doing like videos, right? Essays, like you still have to do, uh, keep a schedule. It just works a bit differently, right? Like um, people may not expect you on a certain day, um, but uh, like if you do it once a week, if you, you said you're going to do a once a week upload schedule, stick to it right um mm -hmm. the moment you stop right um like unless i mean there's an emergency but like um if you get in the habit of just stopping just because right well then you'll find other many reasons just because to not you know so like right. stick to it mm -hmm. right right i i agree with that wholeheartedly man and that that's been that's been my my number one like sticky point especially like with this podcast like i'm like wednesdays and saturdays without fail like i don't care what happens like Wednesdays and Saturdays, they're getting something. Even if they just see me, they're getting something. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think I think that 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 consistency has helped me like retain my audience. And like now, just to grow, I'm like trying to like upgrade the quality, and mm. uh, and yeah, the quality more so than anything else. Um, so with that, so you got partnered, right? So you became a partner. Um, what would you say, like your like one of your biggest moments were like on stream, like one of your biggest nights. Mm, I mean, I guess it depends what you mean by biggest. I mean, in terms of audience uh, wise, my biggest honestly are when like Destiny and Vosh like show up. Um, 
uh, before Destiny got banned. Uh, <laughs> but like, <laughs> right, uh, um, but yeah, I mean, like audience wise, you know, well, when they're around, a lot of all people come through. So I mean, uh, by the numbers, um, but you know, it's cool having a spot where they like they wanted to just come through. You know, like oh, something mm-hmm. interesting happened on Prime, so let's stop by there. You know, that's that was really cool. Um, but in terms of like. Um, like discussions, we've had some really, really, really good discussions. And sometimes, you know, like uh, ones that are like super heartfelt, you know, when like you're getting to know someone's story um, and like what makes them tick. Uh, and I like that, you know, that I think that's uh, really valuable rather than, I'm sorry, can you hear the background noise? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, uh, motorcycle. Um, but yeah. Uh, that I find that a lot more uh, valuable than anything else. Like those moments where we're really getting to know each other on streaming. Um, sometimes it's with repeat people, right? Oftentimes people who come through often. Other times a, a person who stops by once, you never see them again. But, um, you know, they, they left you with something. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, that's that's crazy. Um like those, like those heart. Yeah, I feel you on those heartfelt moments because I, I've had a couple of those, like on the pod where you got, you think the conversation is just like what it is, and then somebody like really dives into themselves and really like opens up, and everyone can't help but have like this genuine like interaction and like admiration of that person. Like you're doing this like on stream for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like to to really open yourself up like that, and then that that leads to more honesty and openness amongst everyone else. You know, mm-hmm. that's, that's t- what I tend to see. Um, and what I, I really like that. Um, I guess, I guess the other portion of this would be, so what, what's next? Like what, what is, what is your, what is your next goal? Like what's your, cause I know like for most streamers and content creators, it's like you have a goal and it's like, oh, I met that. Well, then you set another one for yourself. So what's what's the next thing for Prime? Uh, it's like, mm, I'd like to do more interviews. Um, uh, but like with uh, bigger guests, you know, um, and guests completely outside of like the usual realm here, like on Twitch politics. So mm-hmm. yeah, uh, there's some people I have in mind. I've been reaching out to uh, some. Um, it's mm-hmm. it's tough when I'm still like relatively small, you know, like so pretty small. Um, mm-hmm. So it's always tough getting attention like that. But yeah, if I'd like to break in and do uh, a lot more um, more interesting uh, interviews with people, um, and I'd like my uh, to grow my YouTube in terms of uh, you know the vods that I put there. Um, yeah, I'd like to just kind of grow on more platforms. So uh, I've been trying to invest in doing exactly that. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, just kind of expand what we're doing here. Awesome, that sounds great. Um, yeah, and I, I have no doubt that you're you're gonna like be able to land those because like the the best advice I got was from my um was honestly from my homegirl that that sells eyelashes and and like I seen so so look I know this sounds really funny mm-hmm. but she I seen her post a picture of somebody with her eyelashes and it was this high like. It was this IG model that I was like, wait a minute. I said, how did you get her mm-hmm. to wear your lashes? And she is like, I just I just asked. Mm-hmm. She was, I was like, what? She's like, yeah, I just DM'd 100 girls and 10 replied. And she was one of the 10. I said, wow. I said, mm-hmm. that's it? She's like, that's it. Just start asking. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. she's like, you'll never know who will say yes. That's true. That's true. Yeah. That's actually, uh, you know what? That's actually really good advice. <laughs> it really is. Because you, you know what? Uh, I really like that. The more I think about it, um, because um, I guess you get in this uh, mindset. It's it's really easy to fall into this, right? Mm-hmm. That like these people on these platforms are different than you, you know? Mm-hmm. Right? Like, oh, well, they got so many viewers and, you know, like I only have so much, so. Maybe what, why would they talk to me? But most of these people are just people. <laughs> right. I mean, all of them are just people. Uh, for, right now. But, um, you know, and yeah, like if you uh, 
you know, approach a person kindly and say, like, hey, can I have a moment of your time? Like people do on the street, you know, right? Mm -hmm. Some some people will say no. Other people will say yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you. What do you need? You know? Mm -hmm. um, so I think that's actually really good advice to just, just ask. Um, they can just say no. Or they'll ignore you. I've been there before. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. <laughs> same, same. So uh, I guess, so what is the, what is the message you want to leave with your fans? Like, what's the message you want to give to your fans and your supporters? Uh, thank you to every single one of them. I mean, who've been sticking with me night after night, you know, um, we don't, we don't miss a stream. Like we've been doing this for uh, over two years. We haven't missed a single stream. Uh, and like, I appreciate the ones who just keep showing up um, and keep supporting. Um, like you guys, if it wasn't for you, you just wouldn't be having this, right? Uh, so the people who are are with me, like I, I just have so much appreciation for them. There even some people you know, like who don't show up, you know, all the time, but mm -hmm. they still support, right? They'll they'll hit us up any uh, every so often, uh, right? Because you know life takes you away uh, mm -hmm. from things, you know. Like obviously my thing is not the biggest thing in anyone else's life, um, <laughs> but but you know they'll still uh, check back in because they just support, you know, and. That means the world to me. So thank you so much to all of you. Man. Well, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been episode 140 with Prime Kai's. Thank you for coming on, my guy. Uh, we're out.